Something diabolical is going on at Boston Memorial Hospital. Feisty Dr. Susan Wheeler wants to know why 10 patients admitted for routine surgeries ended up in comas. It seems that as soon as they administer the anesthetic, they have to administer last rites. Her boyfriend, Dr. Mark, is unconcerned and tells her to stop meddling. The risk of surgical anesthesia is six per 100,000. Now, in a hospital this size, 10 patients in a year is not surprising. Maybe not, but when her best friend dies on the operating table during a minor procedure and ends up in a coma, Susan steps up her investigation. Meanwhile, during her rounds, she encounters Tom Selleck, who's just about to undergo a simple knee operation. Well, promises, promises. They keep telling me there's a delay, another half hour. Well, the suspense is really killing me. Funny you should say that, Magnum, because that's exactly what happens. Question. Mark, it happened again. That's Dr. George, chief of anesthesia. He's got a complex. Susan's not convinced. She tells Dr. George that all 12 patients must have shared a common link. These cases share nothing in common except they all emerged with unexplained coma. Yeah, except the fact that they all ended up at an eerie coma storage facility called the Jefferson Institute. Next, Susan hotfoots it down to pathology to find out what one might use to put a patient into a coma. Carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide? Sure. It's perfect. An anesthetist feeds the patient some carbon monoxide instead of oxygen. It's colorless and it makes the blood very red so the surgeon doesn't notice anything funny. But the brain dies from lack of oxygen. End of operation, patient doesn't wake up. Lo and behold, Susan finds a suspicious canister and follows the feed line through the basement up a ladder into a ceiling space where it leads directly to operating room number eight. That's what all the patients had in common, the same operating room. Now she knows too much and must be stopped, courtesy of a hired assassin who chases her through the hospital and into the anatomy lab refrigerator. <gasps> Susan trades anatomy bodies for coma bodies when she infiltrates the mysterious Jefferson Institute where the coma patients hang from the ceiling for easier, more convenient storage. Susan snoops around and discovers a ghoulish and profitable partnership between the hospital and the institute. It doesn't matter where you run, Susan, because with information like that, all roads lead to operating room number eight.